Alrighty everyone, welcome to round 3 of Challenger League Season 10. We are in Matra in the wonderful Hungarian mountains and we are starting ourselves off with our sprint race qualifying. Just getting our laps started here. We're following with, uh, let's go with Alexei Jozdov who is currently driving for the Scuderia Carmona racing team. As we get through those first two corners, then we end that long straight before that large uh, sweeping corner that will make our turn three. Then we've got two tight hairpins. We'll see a lot of uh, battling between these two corners for sure. And then entering a uh, little, uh, little bit of a um, the S's section with uh, a few sharp uh, chicanes we can take at high speed. Jeff Jeff enters the game as we end the qualifying. And uh, Kato actually tops us off with Kraft alongside in P2. A 32-1-2 is the lap that puts the French driver on the pole for the sprint race. Kraft and P2, two tenths behind. Big lead followed by the VEO's tied lap. They will be glocking out the second row of the grid in 3 and 4. Tomatoes in P5 followed by Suicide and Emma Box. Matimar, Pumpkin, and Eurist will take the top 10. Following on, Kamikaze in P11, filling for Nordic Blizzard. Then we've got Pro Lime, Mr. Krunk, Sexy Digger in P14, and Priya, Alexi, the last to qualify. I've got Jeff to Jeff as well. I'm going to uh, start us off. I'm going to start from last in the uh, Heritage Performance. So we'll have to see what he can do from the very back of the grid after his. Uh, Solid stint in the uh, JL race. Speaking of JL races, Pro Lime is in here. The tomatoes, of course, in the uh, in the mix as well at the front. But uh, we're gonna have to see what Cato can do to maybe an inch um, and take fight back against Kraft in terms of the uh, driver standings. Of course, Kraft winning the last four races of this season. Yeah, pretty much mirroring Kubo from last season. Yeah, mirroring as we get underway here in Matra. It is a good start from Kato, but it's a better start from Kraft. He heads the inside into turn one, and it's going to be the lead, but Kato fights back and gets the inside into turn two. And, oh, Game on Goose might have caused a bit of an issue there. There's a lot of drivers going um, sideways as we uh, enter the chicanes, for the, um, enter the hairpins for the first time. Suicide gets really slow, but Kato is still leading us away. Kraft, Mat uh, Kraft, Kato, and Pumpkin are top four. Matimaru P5, Game on Goose getting uh, in a bit of trouble. Suicide is losing a lot of positions there as Eurist, his teammate, gets past him. Proline behind them, then Kamikaze, Krunk, Jeff to Jeff. Big trouble for Emma Box and Alexi Jovjov, the two Scooter Carbon drivers at the back already. As a sexy thing and Priya has already as well lost a lot of ground, and that's even more trouble for the guys at the very far back. It's sexy digger now at the very back of the grid. We're going to go back to the leaders now. Oh, you recent game on those. Past. Oh, there's big trouble. There's oh big lag God. there. Oh, there's a, a big fight in the middle it's there. Jeff, it's oh, Jeff it's only three lagging. Wide, three wide between Kata and Pumpkin and Kobe as Jeff to Jeff has actually uh, got a little lag issue, and he's going to DNF here. So it looks Pretty like likely, yes. that is the first one out. Pumpkin and Game on Goose going super wide. Suicide not finding any uh, consistency on those corners, unfortunately. Jeff to Jeff has left the area as, uh, yeah, Suicide, big loser on that start here. And uh, Pro Lime now fighting Kamikaze for a potential points position here. Only the top eight get those points, remember. I'm going to head back to the front, but it's Kraft now with an almost one second lead. Oh, actually, Matsuba actually steals the fastest lap off of that last lap. He's now battling Kato. He goes into the inside for the turn one. That becomes the outside into turn two. Kato retains the place for now, but it's Kraft who's going to see the benefit from those two drivers fighting. But it's a long gap between those two and P4. They both go wide. This gives an opportunity for Kato to really make some grab there. Matsuba has a... He might have lost the slip there. No, I think he's still got it on his screen, but... Yeah, that really does invite Kata back into the fight for this podium. Uh, further behind him, two seconds back is Kamikaze, leading a bunch of cars between 5th 
and about uh, 11th, 12th behind. Pro Lime in 10th there. Pumpkin not too far back. Tomato's going wide. That'll lose him a couple of positions there. Eurus tries to challenge Kobe into the inside. Almost gets to move the stick there. Side by side. A little bit of a punt there. Crud is going to find the opportunity to have a little battle there. And it looks like Eurus has made the move. Crud going a little wide there. Trying to avoid some contact with Kamikaze. And it's inviting Sawson into this as well. Crud swerving. It's a bit of a trouble there between the uh, drivers. Ooh, Matthew and Cardo. Points. Mar um, Matthew Mar and Cardo still battling for that P2. Let's head to them. It's still Cardo in front. Matthew Mar trying to challenge there. A little bit of a issue with the lag there, but it's still going along strong. Matimar just wanting that slipstream for the time being, and I think he's going to hold on to it for now. And a big part of that is also that they are dropping Kata, which will uh, be a big factor into both of them potentially being able to uh, at least uh, battle a little more later in the uh, field, as we already enter lap 7. Bit of trouble back there. I see a lot of drivers going slowly. Kronk has lost a ton of positions, and it's Game on Goose and Tomatoes fighting P8. Eurist and Suicide have gotten through. I'm not sure what happened there because I missed it. Prolime has gone oh, out into off. turn one. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, tons of trouble there. Kamikaze has gotten himself a bit of free air into P5. And Eurist is fighting his teammate here, Suicide, who gets through on the inside on the first of those S's. And they might be able to challenge for uh, Kobe for P5 here. It's a really big battle. Kobe. Giving room here, he knows he doesn't have the speed at that point of the circuit, but he takes the inside, becomes the outside, it looks like Suwasan has got the move done into P5. Good strike, a good, uh, good opportunity there, but Kamikaze isn't going to take this leg down, he's going to inch his way back into a potential no, but Eurus goes for the dive! Doesn't work out, he finds a bit too much grass, and he's going to uh, sit back into P7 as we sit. Suwasan trying to make uh, a bit of ground into that fight, but we're going to go further back to the field. Game on Goose seems to have gapped uh, the group behind him in P8, and it's Crunk and Tomatoes. Ooh, what's happening with Kado? Oh, together. Ooh, what, Ooh, has with Kado? Kado. what has happened with Kado? He has slowed down. He has lost P3. He has lost P2. After, he's, after starting the poll, he's lost a ton of time to the two in front of him. Actually, it's Kado who's actually going to be able to uh, maybe potentially fight for P2 here as we enter lap 10 for the, those two. But it's uh, smooth sailing out in front with Kraft five seconds in front of the leading pack. Oh, I think wow. Kado may have got some failure I think, with the keyboard or maybe the controller. I'm not really sure, but he just suddenly went off to the grass by himself and uh, he just slowed down for a bit. Maybe, but it, then looks like he came his struggles, back. it looks like his struggles aren't uh, getting any better because it looks like he's lost fair bit of pace, it feels like. Especially because uh, Sawasan seems to be coming right back at him. Seems like he's losing time to both the cars in front and behind. Furthermore, Sawasan has actually gapped Kamikaze, so it looks like he's going to be able to hold on to P5. He can keep it clean for two more laps. Kamikaze now fighting Game on Goose. Game on Goose oh, gets sideswiped by Kamikaze. And Kamikaze, I think, is going to see the position to both Eurus and Game on Goose as a uh, recompense. And now uh, that's going to drop him all the way to P8. Tomatoes and Krunk still chasing in P9 and P10. Then we've got Prolime, Pumpkin, Priya, and Sexy Digger. I think he's going to actually uh, DNF after that poor performance. It's Kraft starting the final lap of the race here. He's uh, he's eased up a little bit, but he's still marred, uh, quite far ahead of uh, the chasing pack. It looks like Madimar has uh, dropped off, uh, dropped Kata. And he's going to hold on to P2, but Kraft, for the fifth time in five races, is going to see the checker first. He has uh, gotten away well and avoided the chaos, and he's going to win the sprint race in Matra. Cleanly slows down right at the start. Matiba is going to uh, lose a bit of time to Kata right at the end, but he's still going to swerve. It is a P2 for the right auto driver. Kata will finish on the podium. Kato, in fact, is beating P4. Sawasan finishing P5, and it's Eurus who gets sixth. Game on Goose and Kamikaze complete the point scorers today. Prolime just barely outside the points in P9. Good result for his first race here. Tomatoes and Krunk following in behind. Uh, quite the entertaining race, I'd say. I think that Sexy Digger is uh, just stalling, so we're going to have to yeah, wait for the time uh, to pass before we uh, end up in the results screen. 
And uh, Matsuma also, with that P2, also gets the fastest lap, so that is an extra point for both him and his team. Yeah, I saw Kyler like making a massive mistake, which didn't allow Matthew just to run away in second place, and so... Yeah, I at least he's the pulling position, and... It really looked like but something he, he happened on the outside of turn, like the exit of turn two. And Kata lost about three, four... Yeah. I think it was a. It may have been a control failure, I feel like, because he suddenly just went straight on to the grass Ooh. and was like slowing down, and then he. It was a really huge uh, slowdown and loss of time there. Yeah, that really was That's, an decisive yeah. moment in that podium fight as well. So, your podium, Kraft, Manibar, and Kata for the sprint race in Matra. Hungry, Kato in P4, then Suicide in Eurist, 5 6 for the Bobcats, 7th Game on Goose, and 8th Kamikaze. Prolime in 9th, Komedos in 10th, followed by Kronk, Priya, Pumpkin, and Alexei Drozdov. Then we have Sexy Digger, Emmerbox, and Jeff the Jeff, our 3 DNFs for today. Well, I don't think the chaos is going to stop anytime soon as we uh, head to the feature race in just a few minutes time. Alright, let me follow Prolime. Oh, hello, we are back. Feature race qualifying. Track is all dried up, so we're going to see how our drivers get through this stint. And actually, Priya has uh, started on the hards. Um, interesting, interesting strategy there. But uh, I'm going to go back to Prolive, who I think uh, deserves a little bit of a spotlight after they're showing the, the feature race. Maybe they can do something special in this qualifying session. So kind of looking strong, numbers. I think, on his first lap. Kind of strong. That is always a good sign. That is a good sign indeed. Prolive getting kind of out of the craft, I think. order. Going to see who tops out. And it is the two... Oh, three-way tie! Three-way! Ooh, you love to see that. Kata, Kato, and Kraft. you beating for soft tires. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna see if Priya can actually get that uh, one solid lap at the end uh, down pat, because there is gonna be a bit of time uh, in between to uh, try and get those before the, uh, the flag falls at the end of the session. But yeah, uh... Big ups to the guys in front. Kraft improves to a 30.62. And Kata and Kata will have to leave it to this last lap. Kobikaze is also really close there. Just three tenths away from P2 as well. I think he messed it up to this lap. Yeah, another mistake. Ooh, that's not good there. Sorcerer and Sexy Digger also in the mix. As the other drivers have gotten under the 31 second barrier. Kraft is looking to improve here. He's still... He maybe have eased off that lap, not too sure. It is the same ta lap time, and it's good enough for pole, it seems. Kata and Matima are actually tied for second now, as Kato also fails to improve. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what that, uh, what the game decides. It's got Matima and P2, but, yeah, Matima and Kata tied on that P2 with a 36-5, but it's gonna be Kraft taking pole here. Followed up by Kato in P4. We've got the Nordic Blizzards of Kamikaze and Sexy Digger. Fifth and sixth, Suicid in P7. Followed by Prolive in P8. They've got Tomatoes and Game on Goose, 9 and 10. Nearest starts 11th, followed by Mr. Krunk. Then we've got Pumpkin in the Riker Auto in 13th. Emmerbox in 14th. Then we've got Alexei Drozdov and Priya. Rounding out our group, I don't think Priya was able to finish that last lap. If they were, it might have not been a representative time, unfortunately for them. Yeah, not, I'd say pretty tight qualifying given CL standards, but yeah, we'll uh, have to see where the pace ends up going, because I could see any one of the top, like, six, seven drivers, if a craft especially gets into a lot of trouble early on. Maybe able to make a break and make a run for it. We've also got to consider the strategy as well. We've got 31 lap race at Matra and the, uh, we've got a pretty long pit lane, especially that entry is quite, uh, the, the pit limiter starts quite slow, uh, quite early on into the, uh, into the pit entry. So long pit, uh, pit lane. 
time, which means that uh, potential harder compounds might be in play here. But we're going to see what everyone starts out on. We've got the leaders on softs at the moment. Maybe playing a bit of chicken as they're picking up their strategies now. Five red lights, we're away, we're going. Top three have started on the soft tyres. Kato and Kamikaze behind them on the hards as we enter turn one for the first time. Kato getting in a bit of trouble there. Source and Prolime, huge amount of cars going outside of the turn through two. Oh, that is a lot of time lost there. Sourcid already losing more time. Big oh, shot between five cars into that first of the two of the double hairpin sequence. But it's Kraft, Kata, and Sexy Digger who are lead. Kata gets a penalty. I'm not sure too why. That's going to be a lot of trouble here for him. And he's going to end up fighting now with Matty Bar for two P3. Kraft and Sexy Digger in that slip. Kraft makes a mistake now. Sexy Digger might be able to get a run in on the inside. Oh, that's quite tight. We're going to go further back now. Matimara into P5 now as Kato recovers. Gable Goose and Kami starting on the hard tyres right behind those two. Tomatoes leading the next pack with Suicid now in P9. We'll make that P8 after that um, overtake. But uh, Emma Box, Krunk, Prolime all in the mix there. Emma Box gets shunted wide, has to go across the pit lane to get back on track. Gotta go further back. Eurist is fallen to way the P14. Not the Ooh, greatest like, start he was Ooh, look at, Ooh, getting a bit of Look at the lead. We're gonna have to go back to Kata's the leaders. Back to the, the yeah, leader. Kata has gotten back to the leaders and uh, he's dragging the rest of the field with him as uh, the softs really are going to start uh, feeling uh, their wear really uh, weakened. But Kata with a 33-8. With uh, tons of slip and a lot of passing there. Good stuff from him that might be able to secure fastest lap for the time being. Behind them, Matty Bar is leading on Kato and Kamikaze. Emma Box has retired from the race here after just three laps of running. And uh, Matty Bar is letting, uh, giving those hard drivers behind him tons of slipstream. But it's also... he doesn't seem to quite have the pace of the guys in front at the moment. He is losing time to uh, Sexy Digger, Kata, and Kraft in front of him. Oh, he did get a better lap. Oh, Kata made a mistake there, perhaps. Sexy Digger getting into P2. I think it was big ping. Like, he got pushed, and I believe Kraft may have slowed down for him. I'm not really sure. But... Yeah, oh, bad lag, bad lag, bad lag. Oh, Dragon's feeling lag here. Game of Goose has fallen out of the slip and Matty Mars Kato is now challenging him for P4. Ooh, bit of a... Oh, this is this is very stuttery. This is very stuttery. I don't know about this. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is this is something else. Sexy has gone off. Uh not too sure. This is a potential on. red flag. This might be a potential red flag. Not too sure. I'm and you know him and you love him somewhere. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. <laughs> we are finally back. We have seemingly got our lag issue sorted. So we've only got 12 drivers fighting for 10 points paid positions as we get five red lights underway in match trial. Here we are for the feature race. And uh, Kato's got a little part. bit of an awkward start there going on the outside. But it looks like he's made it work as he gets in front of Kraft. Um, as far as we know, he's taken the lead here. Takes on the inside, Manimar trying to challenge there too. It looks like a lot more of an orderly start for all of our drivers today. Kato, Matimar and Kraft still trying to get past the French driver here on the hard tyres. Perhaps Kato, he could be only going for a one-stop strategy here, starting on the hards. I think most of the hard runners are going for that. Well, uh, Kata and uh, Matimar, I think, have a lot to work to do. Kata goes wide there. It's going to cause a lot of a bit of a Constantine effect down below there. Prolime and Suicide getting in trouble alongside them. Tomatoes behind Krunk. Suicide battling for P10. Oh, they won't go wide, though. Ooh, it's big trouble for the two of them. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, big trouble for the four at the very end. Matimar catches a bit of the... Uh, a bit of the rough tarmac there and loses the position to Kraft. It's still Kato leading the way here as we enter lap 3 of 23. They're going pretty wide now to turn 3 now. Three Ooh, wide, Mighty Mar takes yeah, the lead. Matty Mar with the inside line there taking that position away from Kato and he's going to be able to uh, 
maybe uh, get a little bit of a break here, though Kato will uh, be uh, right on his heels, nipping away with that slipstream. Further along though, yeah, Kato has also there. gotten into this position. It is a five-way final lead because Game on Goose is also in this mix. And he's also on the hard tyres, so he'll be hoping to get that slipstream alongside. Oh, Kraft getting a little bit shaky there. And then a, oh, a little bit of contact with his teammate too. Oh, that could have been an issue. That could have been a lot worse for him. He's now sitting in P4, and he's uh, got a bit of trouble there. Kato goes wide. That is a lot of time lost for the French driver. Matty Martin now fighting Kato for the lead, and Kraft in P3. Kato's now fallen to 7th place behind Nearest Sexy Digger and Gable Goose. The two of them fighting into turn 1. Sexy Digger getting squeezing Gable Goose off to the very edge of the corner. Oh no, there's three drivers going wide. Oh, it looks like they've all braked just in time, but Sexy Digger's got the best run of the three on those mediums. Nearest has something to say about that though. It's four off! At the second hairpin, and Eurus gets off the best of the four. He's gotten away from the, uh, the chase back, and he's back into fourth. Kraft is gotten back into P2. Madimar maybe making a mistake or two as those tyres are starting to die out, lap six or so. But uh, Kraft is also seeming a little more prone to a... Perhaps a little more prone to a mistake here, now that he's got a bit of a challenge up front. Kata is about half a second in front here. He's just far enough away to avoid slip, and I'm not sure if he's going to go for the pit stop now or later. No, he's heading in now. He's heading now. And Matimara is going to stay going in. Like first in stop graph. Yeah. So, it's Kata in for the medium tyres as we uh, follow him back. Now, uh, Eurist, after all of that, is now in the uh, in on the podium, technically, at the moment. Sexy Digger trying to make a move onto the inside, though. He's going to steal that position away. Game on Goose is trying to get into this uh, little fiesta over here. Sexy Digger and Eurus going side by side as we enter the answers. Looks like Sexy Digger's uh, fallen that position. Uh, seen that position back to Eurus. Always made a bit of a mistake in the sweep and Game on Goose gets by. Matty Bar still staying out for lap 8 of, uh, lap eight of softs. That's very interesting. Sexy Digger um, has lost out. Eurus has also lost out. Game on Goose into P3. And uh, Kato is still chasing behind them. In P6, then we've got Prolime, Kata right behind him, might be smarter just give him a position here, he's on the softer tyres and Prolime does exactly that. Following that is Krunk and P9, Suicide and Priya fighting for P10, behind them is Tomatoes who has also made that pit stop onto the hard tyres. Right. Luz and Yuris were butting a lot and now Kato is shutting that battle as well now for P4. Yeah. That's going to be uh, really important for him to get back into the swing of things in this race. Especially especially because uh, he alongside Eurist and, Ga and Goose is uh, on the hard tyre. He'll be hoping to perhaps only make this a one-stop race for those uh, those guys. Game on Goose making a mistake there. A little bit of a mistake. Oh, sexy, sexy Digger, digger too. It's just a comedy of errors here. Oh, there's a bit of lag here too. Oh, but it looks like it's cleared up immediately. And uh, Matty Bar has finally made his way into the pits. He has gone in for the hard tyres, perhaps hoping to break those, take those all the way to the end. Game on Goose finding some trouble. Kata has, uh, Kata has uh, found his way in. Kata has actually gotten past two of them on those medium tyres. He'll be hoping to make quick work of them, but he's found the he's found the grass and he's lost a bunch of time. And now he's back fighting with uh, Game on Goose behind Eurist as Kraft is now pitted. From the lead of the race, where is he going to come out? He's going to come out behind Eurus, behind Sexy Digger, maybe behind Kato too. And, Might uh, be ahead of Martin, which I think it's the biggest thing here, both on the one stopper and I think Kraft not uh, undercut by Martin Mar. Yeah, and it's a big thing too that Kato had that trouble with um, getting through the pack here, because if he was free, if he was free in the open air, he might be able to make the two stop work, but it feels like. He's got to make uh, something really special happen if he's going to be able to do that. Kraft now, um, net lead of the race on those hard tyres as Sexy Digger goes in from uh, his medium stint. So we enter lap 12 of the race. It's Eurist and Kata leading us away. Kata has got the lead it's just now. A double yeah, right now. Now, it's time for the, now it's time for some extra slipstream for these hard runners who are on 12 lap old hard tyres. I'll be hoping to pit very soon, but maybe one of them will be intrigued by the thought of uh, lapping alongside Kata for another lap, maybe getting that extra speed from the slipstream, maybe being able to push 
towards the- Oh, Cable oh, Goose making a big error! Entering the pit lane, that is a big time loss for him. Prolime also enters alongside. It's gonna be two sets of the hards for those drivers. As they end up behind Suicide and Sexy Digger who are also on the hard. So Kata at the moment is the only driver on the field who is not on the hard compound tires. And uh, his uh, mediums will be screaming at him soon enough to get off those tyres as well. So maybe he can go in for a medium stint of his own as uh, we see Eurist into the pits now. And so should Suwasu as well. Onto the mediums now, the alternate strategy of uh, ending on the mediums and maybe getting that extra faster speed at the end of the race. Now, uh, Kraft is actually catching down uh, Kata at the moment, so... Yeah, the tire is too different, no chance for Kata to just keep the gap now. Yeah, it's just... he's gonna have to pit again and he's out of contention for the win, I would say. Yeah, and Kraft has actually put in his personal best time of the race on that last lap as we enter lap 15 into the last stretches of the race. Matama into P2, maybe it is a P2 result he can look forward to if he can hold on to that. It might be a bit of a struggle though with Kata perhaps finishing fast on those ha uh, soft tyres later. But at the moment, Sexy Digger, Tomatoes, and Kato, 4, 5, and 6, followed by Eurus, Game on Goose, Prolime, and Crunk in P10, Suicide and Priya following behind them. As uh, we see Kata finally make his way, and it's going to be the soft compound tyre for the uh, for the VEO driver as he heads in. He's just in front of Kato. That is probably the best the best um, time to uh, make that stop because uh, Kato is going to make sure to uh, grab that slip as much as he can, and Kato is uh, going to be on a charge for the rest of this race. But, uh, Matos might have to beat again very old hard tires and sexy digger I think looking just for a one stopper. So yeah, certainly Kato will have it charged to the grid I think up to second place maybe. And there we go, Tomatoes also in and that might be the last stop we see for today. Getting in for the softs as well. Going to go further back, it's Kraft with a four and a half second lead. He is uh, once again shown why he has been winning these races. <laughs> Even with the uh, even with the one stop, even with the strategy, even with the uh, struggles of the opening laps he had, he's still able to get out to a sizable gap over Matima at the moment, who has Kata for company now. So it might be a bit of a struggle to hold on to that P2 as we only have uh, six or so laps to go. Ooh, that's quite tight now. Kata followed by Kato and Sexy Digger, who will also be hoping to snag a podium of their own. It is a four-way battle for this P2, and uh, it is really tightening up. Behind them is uh, Eurist on in P6 on the mediums, followed by Game on Goose, who might be struggling a little bit on those hard tyres as we speak in P7. Tomato is chasing them on those fresh softs in P8, maybe, maybe thinking to be able to get those positions back. P9, Prolime, and P10 is Suicide at the moment, making a bit of errors on those mediums, maybe not to his liking at the moment, he's getting followed Ooh, by Mr. Punk. Ooh, there's big contact. Ooh, there's big slang there between 16 Digger and Matibar. Kata has gotten into P2, and Matibar's fallen all the way up to 5th. I've missed quite a little bit on that last lap. Yeah, he got pushed like to the outside, I believe, by Kado. And in the meantime, Kado like got second place, I think, in the first two quarters. And yeah, he's up to second place. So I guess he got his job done. He could get his job done, and he might have actually broken the slip to Kado. So he might be second place for the taking here for Kado, and it might be smooth sailing here. But I think Kado might still have the slip. He's still. Just barely in reach, but no, it's definitely out, out of def definitely out of reach now. But uh, he Kato is definitely being helped by the battling of Matty Bar and Sexy Digger, who is uh, in particular shaking around in the uh, in the uh, in the front straight. Matty Bar, of course, on the uh, very old hard tires. This might be a struggle to get to the end and who knows maybe even uh Eurus the game on Goose might be able to catch him if he makes a few more errors or gets into a few more uh, wayward batters with sexy digger here it's a uh, kata uh, we'll go back because it's a uh, penultimate lap time craft is leading the way kata is uh, running away with p2 
Kato also running away with P3, but he's making a bit of errors now, and that might invite Matty Mar and Sexy Digger to make one last ditch effort for the podium. Further back, Eurus, Game on Goose, Tomato still catching them, but it might be a bit too far at this point. Sawson and Prolime fighting for P9, as uh, they've actually dropped Krunk and Priya finishing, uh, finishing that uh, penultimate, uh, before penultimate lap. Kraft now starting the final lap on those uh, really old hards. It's kind of still chasing. If uh, you know if this race was a bit longer, he might be able to uh, might be able to get that uh, get that two stopper working. But yeah, it's uh, just a bit too far gone now. Kato looks to be uh, running away with that P2. Matima up uh, with that P3. Sorry, Matima just struggling on those hards. We're going to go back because Kraft is round in the final corner, and it is another P1 finish for the Finn. Kata in P2, Kato finishing on the podium. It's Sexy Digger and Matty Mar going side by side to the line. Sexy Digger barely holds on to P4. Uh, P4. Matty will have to settle for P5. It's Eurus, Goose, Tomatoes. Pro Line will finish P9, followed by Sorsen in 10th. And Crunk rounding the last corner, and behind him, Priya will end our finishes for today. Once again, Kraft is unstoppable. It's too strong when it matters, too strong when it counts, on the strategy, on the overall pace. He has had it in spades. But yeah, I'd say good result for Kato in P2. Kato keeping it up in P3, still finding a way to get on the podium at the end. Sexy Dingo, Matima, Eurist, followed by Goose, Tomatoes, Prolive getting those points, and Suicide as well. We've got Krog and Priya finishing 11th and 12th. We've got a few DNFs as well from the uh, multiple red flags we've had over the course of this session. But that is in the past and in the future. We've got a Bulgarian Grand Prix next race, next round, next week in Sofia, the capital, of course. So uh, we'll see you next time when that comes along. For now, it has been a lovely time having you for this uh, Challengers, um, the Challenger League race, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Done.